Hello YouTube and welcome to another week of painting. Um, as you can see all the Chaos Marines and Cultists are gone off the desk. Um, they're all finished and they will be going into the AHPC this, uh, the coming week. So you will see them on uh, Wednesday because that's my uh, participation slot day or however you need to call it. And it should be about uh, 170 points. So that also means that Virtually, I'll make the mark of 750 this uh, competition. Uh, went smoother than I thought, so if I participate next year, I'm gonna up the bar a bit. Because I estimate if I get everything done that I got, I'm going to end at 1200 to 1500 points. Uh, which is not going to happen because now the pressure is a bit of the cooker. <laughs> How's that about a self made up ex expression? Um, you see. I'm now at uh, just under 300 points, so at those uh, KL slots with 175 to it, we're at uh, 475. Then I've also got entries planned for uh, the three bonus rounds, being for the musicians in two weeks. Uh, these noise marines, so that's uh, 50 points bonus apart from their own points. Uh, the demonets are going into the monstrous round, that's uh, another 50 points bonus and the limited edition crisis middle models from this year are going to the childhood uh, category because uh, well it's a children's story so that's another 50 points 150 extra points and tomorrow well no the day of Sunday I believe uh, so this weekend the big gun is going up which uh, was the Chaos Dwarf Earth Shaker 20 points plus 50 for the bonus is another 70 points so I'll end up with those alone at uh, 757 points if I counted correctly on uh, my very amateurish paper sp <laughs> notebook. Um, but that means I'll uh, reach my mark and yay, success to my first participation. Now, of course, I'm not stopping there, but uh, well, I don't have to paint big blocks for uh, point bombs and everything anymore. Uh, I can paint uh, what I like and enter it every week. Now, I'm going to try and keep a system because otherwise it's going to be a chaotic bunch of entries. But um, for this week, uh, which would then be uploaded not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday after that, so I got a, a small week of, uh, well, barrage, uh, barrier, whatever you want to call it. I am going to try and upload all the Alpine Gnomes, which would be another almost 200 points, uh, 28 millimeter figures at uh, times, lots. And um, that's going to consist of uh, halberds and uh, champions, a uh, female champion and a lord. Um, these guys are going to be objective markers, so the Kickstarter came with um, uh, civilians and casualties and stuff so I went like instead of numbering them one model flew base, two model, three model, four model so I got four objective markers there's the battle standard and the unit of spearmen so that's going to be the alpine genome entry um, there you've got Hancock he's uh, as good as finished uh, just need to base and varnish him because he's going to be part of uh, perhaps my largest entry if I can pull it off so that would be like a, a whole Apart from my uh, Union Army, uh, 40 more uh, blue coats, extra command. Uh, the Mount Kevar is going to be Hancock's uh, HQ, Divisional HQ. So that's uh, some more command models. Uh, have to sort them out a bit. And for the rest, I only got uh, left on the desk. Well, the two I'm still painting with Nashi, but uh, we don't have time at the moment. Uh, a uh, violin player, pirate girl, a lily griff, and a something I'll probably use as an objective marker. It's a, a dude in the chemical tank. I got no idea where I got him. Uh, while I was roaching through my uh, bits boxes and still to sort boxes and everything, I found him and I went just like, oh yeah, like hell. Uh, probably in the, uh, alongside the demon, it's in the monstrous bones or something. Or in uh, the penultimate entry will be uh, odds and ends in which I'll be tossing, well, Odds and ends, and uh, he'll probably go in there. And of course, the last, very last entry of the HPC will be six millimeter uh, for my future war commander because I started a competition with him, so I'm going to end it with that. But uh, it's looking good. Um, well, I think by next week, in the next video, uh, all those little green men will be replaced by gray plastic 
uh, Union men. Uh, it's got a 40 bucks. I'm going to split them into a 20 and a 24. Strong units for the house rules. One of the command groups is to uh, split the unit I already restored and painted and everything. So I got two for them because the TSA rules we usually play with are about 20 to 24 man units. So also waiting for a whole order of movement trays. Uh, I have someone printed. Uh, so, well, we'll see how it goes. But uh, for this week, it's been a nice one. Uh, well, helps if the girlfriend has to do a lot of night shifts. So then I got some uh, painting time. But uh, let's see and try if we can get all those little alpine gnomes done, and then the whole, that whole Kickstarter is finished. Uh, I doubt I get a 10mm ECW Kickstarter finished uh, during this competition, but uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, so thanks for watching and see you back next week. Bye!